Welcome to circuitvalley.com. I'm Gaurav. Today in this quick video, I'm going to talk about Raspberry Pi 5 and a specific connector got added to this new version of Raspberry Pi. This Raspberry Pi has quite a few new features and I'm especially interested in this PCI connector here. But in this quick video, we are going to shortly talk only about this UART connector and dedicated debug slash UART terminal header which get added into Raspberry Pi 5 and we are going to try connect our cable to it. I do not have a standard Raspberry Pi accessory which is available because I use a really good quality C232 HD cable which is very very well made and well respected throughout the community and I'm going to make a custom adapter or a adapter cable which you can fit into this connector and connect any other UART cable which you may be having lying around in your home house already. The standard Raspberry Pi accessory doesn't cost all that much but it's just a hassle of finding it, getting it delivered and everything else. So let's zoom into the connector and we will take a look what kind of connector it is and where you can find harnesses and cables for it. So this dedicated UART connector, though in the previous version of Raspberry Pi, UART signal was available on the standard header. In these pins, in these pins right here, the UART is also available there but you have to manually turn it on with some config line commands and here on this side you got a dedicated UART connector. This is a really small JST 1mm pitch 3 pin connector and this connector is used throughout the RC community quite a bit and got used on uh, many servos and small servos specifically and this is how connector harness looks like. I bought it pre-made 3 pin cable and on the one side is open ended on the other side it's terminated with the harness and this connector will directly fit into it. I'll make a short cable. If you google or search it on eBay or something like that, you can easily find this cable. Search JST SH 3 pin 1 mm cable. You can easily find harnesses like this. Let's try to connect it and see how it looks connected. By the way, this is the same connector as uh, used for the heatsink. This is 4 pin and this is 3 pin dedicated RTC battery connector also. These are all same connectors. 2 pins, 3 pins, four pins and let's connect the cable this cable is now connected so this is how it looks on the side the pin out of this connector is transmit from the Raspberry Pi ground and receive on the Raspberry Pi so transmit ground receive you can connect standard UART it's a normal 3.3 volt UART cable and you can connect any standard cable to it I'll solder a few connections and uh, that should be it it should just work let me get back and, and then I'll show you the terminal so cable is cut and I have made this short cable which will directly match the standard header pinout ground TX and RX so let's connect it and we'll see on the terminal how it looks so cable is connected, let's power it on and we'll go to the terminal and I'll show you how it looks. So let's turn on the booty and see how it goes. Should be COM5. Serial is here. And I'll turn on the power now. Yeah, successfully the boot log is coming and we should soon see the terminal here. Cable works wonderfully. On this terminal you will get a little bit more detailed output messages and it will show you the initial, I believe these are very primary stage bootloaders and now we have the terminal. Let's log in. So it does work absolutely fine. That's it for this video. 